I thought it was about a witch who, like, went into the fair. I guess I have egg on my face. <laughs> Wait, it's getting hard to hear you. Are there any cell towers in that part? Sun and fun. That's the motto for this summer. Try out the new Polar Palace on Route 97. Sure to freeze your britches off in this blistering heat. And why not visit your local forest to enjoy some nice and natural shade to battle the sun? <laughs> Just kidding. About the sun part, not the shade. That's actually very useful so you don't turn into a slice of bacon. Oh, and speaking of bacon, be sure to stay tuned to AERDON 4.22 for more riveting news. Stay cool, drive safe, and trust your local park rangers. No table. Hi, and welcome to Red Rock Canyon. Ticket for one, I presume? Oh, the camping grounds. I'm so sorry, they're actually closed for maintenance today. Hmm? The sign? Oh, what sign? Oh, uh, open today, rain, sleet, or shine. Uh, we were supposed to take that down last night. Well, I, I guess the customer is always right. Um, that'll be $5. You only have a $50 bill. Okay. Uh, give me a second to find the cash box. Oh, gosh darn it. I'll reorganize those pebbles later. Again. Okay, so here is your change. Oh, you found a $5 bill under your seat. Okay, cool. Um, thank you. Oh, no, you're fine. I'm just, uh, exhausted from the heat. Oh, sure. Uh, you'll just take a right when you see the first sign. That'll point you over to the main camping grounds. And the parking lot is going to be at the end of that road on your left past the main station cabins. The lot is pretty vacant today, so you shouldn't have a problem finding a good parking spot. Uh, you still following along? Okay, fantastic. Uh, from there, you'll see the main trail, and about a quarter of a mile down the trail, there's a wash station for showering, bathroom breaks, etc. There's also some vending machines that I just restocked this morning. Uh, we have some really good homemade cookies in there, too. Oh, yeah, all this stuff in our sweets vending machine is made by the staff here, including myself. Uh, we like to think it adds a nice little homey feel to the trail. Plus, I mean, who wants a stale pre-packaged cookie when you could have the real deal for only $1.25? <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, anyways, if you ever have any problems on the trail and need a ranger, or really anything at all, we have some satellite phones along the trail, uh, I think about a half mile? Yeah, in half mile intervals. Uh, just click zero like you're trying to dial an operator, and you should be connected with the closest ranger ASAP. Okay, you too. <laughs> bye bye now. I could have sworn I changed that sign last night. Stars have mercy, I must be losing my damn mind. I really need to lay off the sauce. I mean, all that sugar and that honey mustard cannot be good for memory retention. <sighs> Dr. M was right, I really need to watch my glucose intake. Oh! Yellow. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, how the gosh darn are you, buddy? Doing fantastic, old friend. Have you heard anything yet? Nope, not a darn peep. Haven't even received the package yet. I was just told they were supposed to be here like an hour ago. <laughs> well, darn indeed. Uh, you holding up all right? Yeah, but I just had a patron show up. They told me no one would be allowed in besides, you know. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, I hear you. I'll double check with my people over here and get this cleared up for you. A-S-A-P, okay, buddy? Thank you kindly, Carl. I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> oh, right back at you. Okay, the bosses are yanking the leash. <laughs> I gotta get back to the grind. Talk to you later. Nice catching up. Yeah, you too. Fake little prick in my side. What do you mean, you'll get back to me ASAP? You and your corporate goons were so insistent on me being in charge when it arrives, and how am I supposed to handle it all? Things were better when these morons didn't intervene and make everything a form-filing paper nightmare. I guess I'll just watch the sunset, then scope out the grounds and see if they came in through another entrance or something. I just hope that out-of-town fellow finds a camping spot for themselves soon. I mean, it's about to be dark here in less than an hour. Ah, the double choco chip explosion. A favorite among... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, uh, I was just making my way to campsite A, and also felt the need for something sweet to nibble on while I do my nightly rounds. How are you enjoying the park? Have you been able to set up your tent and everything yet? Good, good. Yeah, no, I've been here my whole life. I mean, ever since I was a little monster. Hmm? That was a nickname my parents gave me. Um, I was sure the troublemaker and stuff. Yeah. Huh. Uh, how long will you be camping out here, uh, if you don't mind me asking? Just one day? Okay. Um, most people spend the whole weekend here. <laughs> Have I seen anyone? Uh, l like who? Could you uh, be more specific? <laughs> okay. Odd, but okay. Uh, yeah, no, you've been the only person we've had come in here all day. Well, at least on this side of the woods for the campsite. Everyone else is probably on the north side. That's the side that's closer to the main lake and all the fun activities. Oh, yeah, they all go over there, especially around this time of the year. This southern area is usually abandoned for a few weeks out of the summer because, I mean, everyone just prefers the lake and the zip line and all that fun jazz. Oopsie doodle, <laughs> that's for me. I'm going to go on and skedaddle to Site A. Uh, you enjoy your stay. little fella keeps getting away from me. Uh, my clothes? Oh, uh, about that. <laughs> I, uh, hey, hey, are, are you okay? Whoa, why do you have bear mace? Put that down, you're gonna blind us both. No, I'm not a werewolf. You hear rustling and your first thought is of me being a fictional beast? Why are you even camping here in the middle of the forest, and not the designated campsites? Like, are you trying to be attacked by a wild animal? Haven't you heard the stories about these woods? Like, literal dozens of people are snatched up by these wild beasts. Or worse, a person with awful intentions. No, I am not one of those people. The hell? No, 
I'm done hearing your wild accusations and general nonsense. First, my person never arrives. Second, you show up only to constantly be doing everything and anything that requires I watch after you and not even the patron I've been waiting all day for. You have been a constant chore that I have had to handle on top of everything else and Carl promised today would be easy because my blood pressure can only take a spike so many times before I pass out on the job again. <sighs> I am so sorry. <clears throat> that was incredibly rude of me. I'll be sure to... Why are you looking at me like that? H how do you know my name? Y yes. Yes, my name is Elis. How... How did you know my real name? Wait. You're the... How? You showed up midday on the sunniest day of the summer, and there wasn't a burn on you. You were wearing enchanted sunscreen. Yeah, I know y'all don't burn up in the sun, but don't freshly turned people get all photosensitive? No, it means sensitive to light. I know you show up on Polaroids. Okay, see? I'm not completely missing the mark. Wait, wh what about your skin and eyes? They said you'd already become pale and that you still had your newborn eyes. Your sunscreen was tinted. And you're wearing contacts? I... Are you serious? Wait, why didn't you say anything back at the gate? They said you were supposed to be informed of who I am and know what I look like to avoid all of this confusion in the first place. They said what? That I was a fairy. Those... <laughs> They meant that as an insult, not a literal fairy. <sighs> yes, my ears are real. And yes, I'm of elven descent. Being a park ranger is perfect for me because these hats help, you know, conceal my ears without crushing them. You can take out your contacts if you'd like. I could tell something was causing you discomfort all day, but now I know what it was. See? Feels much better, doesn't it? Vulnerable? Oh, no, no worries. We're the only ones on this side of the park. Oh, oh, the werewolf? No, yeah, no, that was real. Uh, I heard he beat the hell out of him. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, uh, he's gone. Well, of course I had to say they weren't real. Not 30 seconds ago, I thought you were a plain mortal human. <sighs> no, you're fine. I'm so sorry. It's been an incredibly stressful day today. We haven't had a rogue other in months, and the fight was rusty, to say the least. But we just call them rogue when they go insane. We think we know what might be causing it, but it, it it's all been a mess. Oh, yeah, no, he's fine. He's not dead, he's just been detained. He's going to be evaluated by some magis, and hopefully they can reverse whatever they did to him. Okay, good, so you've been told what the Forgers are. Yeah, we think it's them. The bastards who, you know, play God and want to wipe us all out. Anyways, um, enough about those morons. Uh, let's talk about you. So, how long was it that you were bitten and turned? Only two months? Damn, that is, uh, quite recent. If I may ask, was your turning a desired outcome, or... No need to talk about it any further if it's an upsetting subject. Oh, no, no, no. I don't need to know anything. I just like to get to know the people I help to build a little bit of trust. So the whole journey isn't with a total stranger. Yeah, feel free to tell me another time. Or not at all, if you want. It's, it's all up to you. So, um, since you returned so suddenly, as you put it, uh, how did you come to find out about Ardonia and subsequently us gatekeepers and the gates themselves? Oh, okay, well, how lucky for you. I'm glad you could find those resources as quickly as you did. Some newborn vampires go years before discovering the others and Ardonia and stuff like that. 
Oh, um, others is just the generic term that we use to refer to the other supernatural beings. Well, we do have other words, but basically we kept trying other code words, but eventually around the late 90s, uh, we all kind of started giving up and saying, you know, the others, and it kind of caught on. <laughs> uh, who said laziness wasn't convenient? Oh, oh, no, not the 1990s, the 1390s. Oh, you never want to ask a lady her age. It, no, I'm I'm not a lady. It, it, it was a joke. <laughs> I'm a... Oh, God. I'm a little over about 2,816 years old? Uh, give or take a few years. They kept changing up the calendar around... What? Oh, <laughs> I'm not that old. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I forgot you were human. Uh, humans have way shorter lifespans. I'm so used to other beings scoffing at my youth and calling me a child. It's incredibly demeaning, if I'm being honest. Well, thank you for calling me ancient. That's actually very kind of you. So how about we go ahead and head up the mountain so we can get you to the... Why are you yawning so much? Oh, that's right. It, uh, it is pretty late. Uh, here. How about you just rest in your tent, and I'll keep watch. And then when the sun rises, we can get started on our little journey to get you to your new temporary home. Sound good? Excellent. Okay, well, uh, get cozy, I guess. I'm gonna go sit over here and tend to the fire. Don't need you freezing off your toes in the middle of the night. Oh, <laughs> I'll be fine. My kind doesn't need sleep as often as you humans. Uh, well, vampires. <laughs> yes, good night to you too. <laughs>